All right, guys and gals, so welcome back. Um, you wouldn't know it by the, the temperatures we've been having, but it's getting close to fall time, hunting season's right around the corner. So, got me thinking about doing a couple videos uh, on that sort of topic. So, what we've got here today is this, is this is my old climber deer stand. I've had this thing for, oh boy, probably 10 or 12 years. It's served me well, it's still serving me well. But uh, you know, this wasn't by any means a high-end stand whenever I bought it. It's an old API bow hunter, uh, and it wasn't you know the low, low end. And it's been a real good stand, and I've done things over the years to really help it out as far as uh, soundproofing and just ease of carrying and everything else. So, I had a buddy this year. He just purchased a new new climber stand, and I said, well, I'll take the opportunity and uh, and share with you guys what I've done to this stand and, and make his stand up to to kind of help out. Uh, you know you guys also so basically what I'm talking about is you've probably heard of the uh, the quiet metal or the dead metal or I think summits is dead metal API is quiet what what these companies are doing nowadays is they're basically filling the voids in the metal of these climber stands and you know even some of your hang-ons and ladder stands with foam and then they're jacking the price up you know 130 140 bucks well, that can easily be done, uh, you know, for just a few dollars. And so today, that's basically what I'm going to show you. And then I'm also going to show you, um, you know, just a cheap and easy way to to add on some support to your your carrying device, so these uh, these back straps won't be digging into you. So basically, what I've done is this old API. It's got more of a channel type bottom. And if you take and you drop a phone or an arrow or something, it makes a a, a hellacious sound whenever you hit that hollow metal and that's what these companies are doing is they're they're making their quiet metal and dead metal and they're filling it with foam and so that's what I've done here uh, in this old stand I did this many many years ago uh, after I first saw whenever they came out um, you know and I've added some duct tape around here that duct tape just kind of helps if you're running your boots across and, and other things so this is my old stand here we'll set that aside and this is a brand oh. this is a brand new what is this thing this is a uh, summit viper classic real close along the lines of the api uh you know that i have just just a little different so let's see let's get this thing set up where we can spray some foam in and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about all right, so basically I just took the stand apart. We've got the bottom half. This is the one we're gonna really concentrate on. This is where your feet are gonna be hitting and you're gonna be dropping things and such. And so what we're gonna do is you can see here, there's, there's channels built into this stand. Now, if you were having the quiet metal or dead metal, basically this, is, this would be foam filled. Now, if you hit this, you can tell it echoes. It's not foam filled. If you come over here, to my old API, let me get the microphone real close. You can tell there's a really muffled sound now because that foam is taking up space. So that's basically all we're doing is we're gonna take, and we're gonna take um, three items is what you need for this, guys. You need some sort of expanding foam. Um, for the shoulder straps, if you have some pipe insulation, this is what I use. And then as far as the tape, pick out some camouflage duct tape. That's it, that's all you need. So it's real simple here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this expanding foam and we're just gonna lay it in to the foot treads. And this is what's gonna give us our buffer between you know feet stomping and dropping of stuff and this is really what's going to quiet it down you know and not only does it work but it's it's a lightweight fix uh, you know this is a 12 ounce can so if you use the whole thing which normally you won't you'll still be only gaining less than a pound uh, now I'm gonna go a little further here and I'm gonna take and you know in the front here, I'm gonna squirt this in the front. See how much I can stuff in there and help out. I 
We'll clean this stuff up real easy. You can see on the tread part though, I've got absolutely no mess. We'll take and we'll put a little up there and basically any open cavity. That's really about it guys. Um, we're gonna let this set up. And while we let this set up, we'll go to working on our shoulder pads here. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of uh, just regular pipe insulation here, and I've measured off the strap length, you know, pretty close. We'll take and uh, we'll cut two of them the same. And if you're like me, you know, you've experienced where these shoulder straps just dig into your shoulders. So this is one quick thing we can do while we're while we're waiting. So. Get this better into focus here for you. We'll just take, take that pipe insulation and place these new shoulder straps that I've done this in quite a bit of my equipment. You can see that expanding foam, it's really uh, really going to work now, so. Now I like to take and you know you're gonna put the seam up away from your back basically that way your seam doesn't open up and then this is just uh you know you can pick any kind of brand or your your flavor or choosing of duct tape We'll just tape that seam up real nice and neat like. All right, there's one. Do number two here. Just a nice wrap going up. This foam really adds a, a little bit of support, you know, whenever you're packing these things. Half mile, three quarter mile into the woods. So there we go, that's simple, that's done now. So all we gotta do is wait for this foam to go ahead and expand. Um, if it's a little high, just take a flay knife and we'll just we'll trim it off. Uh, the, the cavity really doesn't have to be completely full. You're just trying to deaden the sound. And then we'll, uh, we'll put this bad boy back together and we'll, we'll test it. So anyway, uh, we'll check back with you as soon as this stuff sets up. So we got that setting over to the side and while it's setting up and doing its thing, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and take this, this duct tape here and uh, you can see here on my, on my old climber, I pretty much covered every, every possible area that could uh, you know, be be hit with a you know a foot or you know like right here in this instance we've got this uh, this area where basically your shooting rail well naturally if you're in there you're gonna put your your gun crossways so you don't want that that gun or metal you know uh, rubbing on that so if you really really wanted to you could uh, on this particular stand and all of them have been different but you could actually drill you you know a quarter inch hole and squirt some foam in here. I'm not going to go to all that trouble uh, for this particular instance, but definitely uh, is an option there. But I'm simply just going to take and I'm going to cover the, the top of the rails and do a real nice neat job uh, covering it with this, this tape and that'll just give just that little buffer and extra uh, you know, sound deadening whenever you put your gun you know right there um, if you wanted to you could even take you know the the foam insulating material the pipe insulating material that I 
used on the shoulder straps and uh, and put right there. So uh, it's been a day or so, and uh, anyway, all our stuff's nice and dry. All our foam, uh, you can hear the difference there in it. I'll just. I mean, I'm hitting that knife on that edge really hard, and you can tell it's really, really muffled compared to what it was. It's, uh, you know, that foam basically took the echo out of it. So now here we, you can see on the bottom, um, naturally this is going to be the bottom of your stand. If a deer would happen to look up at you, you don't want them seeing white. We want to cover that. And we've got, you know, a little bit of foam here that just, uh, you know, come up over the top from whenever we sprayed it. So the best way to go about this is just take a, a flay knife here and go right across the bottom and we'll just take that right off and just like so Take that off, and we'll do that. Everywhere we put the foam in, we've got our place here up front where we filled the, the front part on our footrest there. A couple places over here where we filled the sides. There we go. All right, now, uh, you know, you can do any number of different things, but the simplest thing I've found is simply fix more of our trusty camo duct tape here. We'll cover all that up. Take your knife and just cut the corners just like that. This stuff will fold, fold in right nice. And now, if you believe the whole camouflage fad, now your your deer is looking up at that as opposed to the solid color of white that the foam is. So anyway, we'll just. Uh, We'll just finish up here. So anyway, I'm gonna finish up here with this last rung. And then I'm gonna put the, uh, put the seat on this stand and then we'll go down here and woods back behind me and we'll climb a tree with this thing and see if all our all our stuff worked but like I said guys this is a, a real quick easy way to really really kind of help yourself uh, out you know, flipping this thing over you can see this particular stand's got some uh, non-stick anti-slip material on it so that's cool uh, I won't do anything with you know putting putting extra sound deadening or tape or anything on this on other stands I have in the past but uh, you know you can see here you know that's basically what you're looking at uh, from the bottom so you know works out pretty well like I said guys this takes no time at all uh, you get your roll of duct tape five six bucks you get your can of, of great stuff or spray foam you know ten bucks uh, all together and you can you can have a stand and you can do this with almost any stand that is quite a bit uh, more quiet than you know out of the box and if you look at these stands what they cost for their uh, quiet metal or or things like that you're paying you know almost double and you know right there that's that's metal that's me the metal end of this knife on metal and that is not near what uh you know it could be so a little quick tip i'm gonna put this stand together guys we'll go climb a tree real, real quick and man these padded shoulder straps sure are nice
All right, guys. So give her a little test now. Seems to be doing just perfect. Uh, happy to say I can hand this off to the buddy of mine and uh, you know he can go do what he wants to do without <laughs> any worries and I put my little touch on it so anyway guys uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys learned something from it there's one thing to take away from this video and I don't do a lot of preaching I feel but I uh, this is one thing that I'm very very adamant about is whenever you're doing this kind of climbing make sure you wear your safety harness uh, you know it's not that big of a deal I know a lot of guys complain about it and that's just total total nonsense uh, you know I've I've fell out of a tree before I fell out of a tree before and a safety harness has saved my life. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. The seat needs some adjusting. So I'm going to take care of that for my buddy. And uh, oh. mm, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take care of this seat, adjust it a little higher for him. I think he wants to sit this low, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got, hope you guys took something from it. A little something I picked up over the years. So anyway, remember, be safe out there. Wear them safety harnesses, and until uh, next video. Thanks, guys.